Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So in this reading, we're going to do a karmic update. Let's see what's going on with this karmic and the Divine Masculine. Holy Spirit, what is the energy surrounding this third party situation? Your first card says wasting time, stuck, no changes, and limited. So I'm getting this vision collective that this karmic is pacing back and forth and conjuring up a plan to get some kind of information on you and your divine masculine. And the reason why she's feeling stuck is because the divine masculine has gone MIA. Because he's finally woken up, he's smelling this coffee, and he's realizing this karmic was a waste of his time. And he felt limited in their connection. There wasn't any growth and it was stagnant. On this card, there's a clock. So she feels like time is of the essence and she has to make a move soon before it's too late. Before we pull some more cards, I'm going to get some tarot. Let's see what this wasting time is all about. You have the five of pentacles, the eight of wands, the emperor, the hierophant, the high priestess, and the magician. Oh my gosh. She's going to be pulling out all the stops, including magic and hiring a practitioner to get what she wants. This karmic does not like to lose. And right now she has egg on her face because with this five of pentacles, she's in a dire situation. She's unemployed. She's losing her home. Divine masculine is gone and she's feeling empty and alone. She's also caught up in addictions, trying to cope with everything that's going on. With the eight of wands and the emperor, she's tried numerous times to reach out to the divine masculine but her calls are going unanswered and she's being rejected with the five of pentacles. With the Hierophant, the Magician and the High Priestess, she's definitely up to no good and she wants revenge on this Emperor through spell work. You also have the Devil, the Tower, Judgment and the Empress. So this bitch is not only crazy and obsessed with the Devil, but she feels like she has nothing to lose at this point. But with this tower and judgment coming out back to back, everything she's doing is going to backfire if it hasn't already, which is why the first card is wasting time. She's literally wasting her time and energy on you and your divine masculine and all her efforts are going null and void. Yeah, because on this card it says stuck, no changes and limited. With this empress being here, she tried coming for you divine feminines. But you're highly protected by spirit because at the bottom of the deck, you have temperance. Your guides and your angels are not playing with this karmic. That's why she's getting judgment. What else is going on, Holy Spirit? You had a card that flew out. And it says bankrupt. I literally just said that this karmic has nothing to lose. She lost the Divine Masculine. She's losing her home. She's lost her damn mind and she's unemployed. On this card, you have a whole bunch of bills and it says past due. I told you guys this magic has backfired on this karmic. And part of her karma was losing her money. With a bankrupt card, the Five of Pentacles and the Emperor, your Divine Masculine saw this karmic's true colors and realized that she was lying about her abundance among other things. And that's why he said deuces. Let's get one card on Bankrupt. You have the Three of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So just like I said, there's something going on with her stability with the Four of Pentacles and also her finances. This karmic is having to move or something with this Three of Wands. And with this Three of Swords, she's also feeling bankrupt because the Divine Masculine is gone. Yeah, you have the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. She's heartbroken that it's over. She's heartbroken that the Divine Masculine has turned his back. Your next card is Bad Habits, Drugs, Addictions, and Toxicities. I told you guys this karmic was caught up in addictions trying to cope with life and trying to cope with the loss of the Divine Masculine with the Three of Swords. She's on drugs for some of you. On this card, you have cocaine. You also have a needle, so she could be on heroin. You also have a dice. So it looks like she likes to gamble, but she was caught up into addictions. And see, your divine masculine was in low vibration, and that's why he was attracted to this karmic. And I feel like this karmic was paying for every damn thing. But as you can see, her ass is now bankrupt. Your next card is hooked. Yup, she's definitely hooked on these drugs. 
And with the devil and the emperor coming out earlier, she's hooked on your divine masculine. You also have drama starter. I told you she's trying to conjure up some kind of plan and some kind of drama to get your divine masculine back. Clarify drama starter. You have the nine of swords. She can't sleep. She can't eat. She can't think. You also have the Eight of Swords. I told you, she is losing her damn mind. She cannot get over the Divine Masculine. And she is mentally conflicted on what happened. I also feel like with the Bad Habits card, she tried to keep him in a drug-induced state to keep him hooked. Because you have bad habits, and right after that, you have hooked. But see, the Divine Masculine woke the fuck up. And he got tired of feeling stuck. He got tired of feeling limited in this relationship. This was a waste of his time. Yeah, because at the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. He's making changes in his life. He's in the Hermit mode. That's the next card. And with the Fool, he's taking this risk and this leap of faith and walking away from this karmic once and for all. What else is going on, Holy Spirit? You have Stalker. It says stalking, watching, and obsessed. I cannot make this shit up. This karmic is stalking you and your divine masculine. And for some of you, if this karmic knows where you live, she's driving by your house trying to see if the divine masculine's vehicle is there. She's also looking your ass up on social media. Oh my gosh, looking you up is the next card. Researching you, studying you, and getting information. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. Looking you up. I literally just said she's looking you up on social media. And just like this card says, getting information. She's getting psychic and tarot readings as well. Clarify looking you up. Yeah, the Page of Swords. She's spying. You also have the Two of Cups. She's trying to see if the Divine Masculine has gotten back with you. She's trying to see if you guys have reconciled. Your next card is Impersonator. It says wants to be you, acts like you, dresses like you, and copies you. And remember, you had the Empress that came out earlier. So that's how she got you to buy masculine because she was impersonating you. But the thing of the matter is you can impersonate someone all you want. Because at the end of the day, the lashes are going to come off. That wig is going to come off. That makeup is going to come off. Your attitude is going to come out. And your lies and deceptive ways are going to catch up to you. So everything was a facade. She was trying to impersonate you. But that shit did not work. Because there's only one original. No one compares to the Empress. I'm hearing you better recognize and trust and believe. This karmic knows who the fuck you are. This karmic knows what time it is. That's why this fake persona got her ass bankrupt. This karmic is a jealous ass hater wanting to be you. While you're sitting on your throne, divine feminines, minding your own damn business and counting your coins. I don't care what this karmic try to do. You have your spiritual team backing you up. The divine masculine knows what time it is. And he's now separating the real from the fake. Why do you think he's on his way back? And that's the real reason why she's pissed. This karmic is so jealous of you divine feminines. And that's an understatement. And the last card is girl fight. Yeah, she wants to fight you. She wants to start drama between you and your divine masculine. You had drama starter. It says arguments, physical fight, at war, and competing. That's why the impersonator card was before this card. She was trying to compete against you. And she lost. Yeah, because on this girl fight card, you have this woman with some boxing gloves on. For some of you, it was an argument. And for others of you, it was actually a physical fight. So this karmic is not taking no for an answer. And she is not going away anytime soon is what I'm picking up. Let's get some final messages from my handwritten deck. Let's see what else is going on with this karmic. We are not getting a divorce. This is for better or for worse. What did I tell you guys? So for some of you, Divine Masculine is married to this karmic. And she says, we are not getting a divorce. This is for better or for worse. I just told you guys that she has nothing to lose. The next message says, I am in love with him. Yup, the Three of Swords came out. She's heartbroken. For those of you, if your Divine Masculine has already walked away... With the Eight of Wands, she's been trying to hit him up. But with the Five of Pentacles, he's rejecting her ass. We are fighting right now because of you. 
So that could be what the girl fight is. It says arguments, physical fight, and at war. So they're arguing and fighting over you, Divine Feminines. Your next card says sleepless nights. Yeah, that's what the Nine of Swords is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I told you, she can't eat, she can't sleep. For some of you, she's losing weight. And her mind is consumed every single day, 24 hours, with the Divine Masculine. I drive by your house to see if his car is there. Oh my gosh. I told you guys, she is driving by your house if she knows where you live. And some of you, she may know where you live and you may not even know that she knows where you live because she's working with these damn practitioners. And she's trying to see if the Divine Masculine is with you. You have Stalker and you have Looking You Up. Thank you for that confirmation, Holy Spirit. The next card says, Drinking, Drugging, Threesomes, We Party Hard, and He Loves It. You had bad habits and you have hooked. That's what your Divine Masculine liked. That's how she was able to get him. And it was because he was in low vibration. And he wasn't on his spiritual path. But the Divine Masculine has come to his senses. Let's get one more. And the last card says, He sleeps in the other room. We don't have sex like we used to. So I'm getting this reading as 50-50. For 50% of you, your Divine Masculine is gone. And for the other 50% of you, they are going through a divorce. They are not seeing eye to eye. They're fighting over you. And I feel like he is making his way out. That's why he's sleeping in a separate room. I feel like my masculine literally has to be fucked up and drugged up in order to have sex with this karmic. Because it says we don't have sex like we used to. But I feel like it's more non-existent. Yeah, because on the bottom of the deck, this message is coming from the divine masculine. It says, I married this bitch and it was the worst mistake of my life. And right behind that, it says, DM to DF. I'm going to contact you soon. You are my true love, not her. Wow. So this is the current update with the Divine Masculine and this karmic. If you have enjoyed this video, please share it so it can help someone else. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.